What if I told you that I, alongside some of your favorite YouTubers, were able to use billions of dollars worth of illegal items to completely destroy a Minecraft server? Okay, alright, let me give you some context. Pay to win Minecraft servers are something that I've covered extensively on this channel in the past. However, the one we'll be discussing today might just be the worst I've ever seen. The server store contains just about everything you would expect. Ranks, which on top of being ridiculously overpriced, provide massive in-game advantages to the players who buy them, such as overpowered custom kits, the ability to fly, see other people's inventories, and even heal yourself on command, fake, almost permanent store-wide sales, and worst of all, a variety of different crate keys and loot boxes which despite containing all sorts of high tier items, only give the player 4 random items out of everything that's advertised. All of these disappointing features come together to form Fantasy Cloud, a Minecraft faction server whose main purpose is to take advantage and profit off of their younger player base via these pay to win and gambling mechanics. And this is all just the stuff we know about. Who's to say the items in the crates aren't all rigged to have different odds. On the store, they claim that players have equal chances of getting every item. However, considering we've already established that the owners are lying to you about there being a store-wide sale, I don't think it's too out of the question to assume that they might have made the best items in the crate almost impossible to obtain, encouraging the player to buy another crate, and another, and another, and another. Another. But that's just a theory. What isn't, however, is the fact that right here in the official Minecraft usage guidelines, Mojang clearly states that server owners are not allowed to charge money for anything that either hurts the overall gameplay or provides players with a distinct in-game advantage. Yet despite this, Fantasy Cloud just gets away with it somehow. But it's not just them. Hundreds of other big Minecraft servers are also currently operating in a similar manner, utilizing the same pay to win and gambling tactics to profit off of their younger player base, some of which are able to rake in boatloads of money in the process, all completely without any form of punishment or even a word from Mojang. So since they don't seem to be doing anything to solve this problem, I figured if I had the chance to at least cause one of these server owners a little bit of trouble, I would gladly take it. And on July 14th of this year, that's exactly what happened. On that day, I got a message from another YouTuber named Duper Trooper. And he had a plan. Turns out, somebody he knew informed him of a glitch Fantasy Cloud had that allows the user to duplicate one of the most valuable items on the server, crate keys. The specific key we were planning on using goes for around $10 on the Fantasy Cloud store, which meant that if the glitch was done right, we'd be able to duplicate these keys over and over again until we had billions of real life dollars worth of them, to which we'd then evenly distribute them out to everyone on the server, theoretically eliminating the need for anyone who receives them to spend money on this server ever again. However, pulling something like this off before any server staff notice and subsequently ban us would be a difficult task, so we decided to form a team. Alongside myself, Duper, and VK who showed him the glitch, we were also joined by fellow YouTubers It's Owo and the Mr. Epic. And after downloading all of the mods and setting up a time, we finally got to work. We was in the heights, OG tried to sell me Cartier's. With my crown, we some kings like a Cardin Solitaire. We logged into the server, started getting things set up, and mess around a little bit. Yeah, you guys are starting at one. No! Taking the keys, thank you. Oh, wait, no, let me come back. Let me come back. <laughs> and after that, it was time to get serious. The Abyss Crate Key Vouchers. We're gonna wanna dupe these up to the Billions. The way the dupe works is through a mod called UI Utils. First, you start off by running a command to sell the keys on the auction house, preferably at an insanely high number to prevent anyone from actually buying them from you. And then right before you confirm the sell, save the GUI and close it without sending a packet to the server. This means that while you're safely putting away your keys, the server technically still thinks you're in the auction house, to which you then reopen the GUI that was saved with the mod, click confirm to list the keys that are no longer in your inventory, and after taking down the listing on the auction house, you've successfully subscribed to my channel. You've successfully duplicated the keys. And I just kept doing this over and over again until I had 512. You have 512? Yeah, bro. I'm just going. Oh, okay. Do it. I, hey, man. Go crazy. I'm I was... 512 turned to 1024 into 2048, 4096, 
And then that's where everything went wrong. Uh, I I'm banned. Oh, wait, wait what? what? Oh. You're banned from the server. What's banned by loops underscore OG. Oh, dude, that's a junior mod. I knew you guys should TP'd away. I'm going to spawn, bro. Screw this. <laughs> no. What was the ban reason? Did he give you a reason for the ban? Duping. Oh, dude, they're on to us. Stupid. <laughs> they know, dude. They know. <laughs> Turns out the server staff were on to us this whole time. So in order to cover our tracks, the rest of the gang decided to burn down all of the remaining evidence that could possibly be traced back to us and log off. To make matters worse, right after my ban, the server owner completely shut down the auction house ultimately rendering our duping method completely useless. To be honest, I thought all hope was lost at this point. It was really looking like this video was never going to see the light of day as we'd failed to dupe enough keys to actually make any impact on the server. However, just 48 hours later, we received a message that changed everything. But first, are you constantly looking for the best texture packs to use? Is a thriving community with over 30,000 members Members, tons of talented and helpful pack makers, and an easy to use library containing thousands of resource packs for you to choose from. Not to mention, if you boost a server or purchase a server subscription, you can get access to another private library of packs as well as private bundles, giveaways, and so much more. Be sure to join, the links in the description, and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Anyways, we were back. Since he wasn't online with us the first time we recorded, nobody knew that VK had already duped 10 billion crate keys, which collectively hold a value of roughly all we had to do now was hop on some alt accounts and log back on when there weren't any staff online, and we can finally distribute all the keys and cause some huge chaos. Alright, round two, boys. Well, do you guys want to distribute now, or do you want the to wait? The starts in five minutes. Oh, lit. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm hopping on. Oh, uh, well, the keys just got removed from my inventory. Oh, did they actually? Yeah. Oh, oh, they own the TP to me. Oh, no. Oh, Oh no! Start gifting them! Start giving them, them, them out! Screw it! Get them going! Gift the people! Hey. Dude, I've gifted half the server. Mine are all gone. Mine are all gone. Mine are all gone right too. Now. I got them all gone. What about you, Epic? I'm still going. I've gone through the whole tablet uh, once now. Oh, we did it, boys! <laughs> I think it's safe to say that this dupe was a massive success. Almost immediately after this, the owners completely shut down the server. But not before we were able to give away all our keys, inflate the server's economy by billions of dollars, force the owners to disable all crates and crate keys on their server, and potentially shut down the server for good. 